everybody. I'm glad you guys moved up. You can move up a little further if you want to. I really won't bite. <laughs> so I, I, I joke and tell people that this is the only way I'd ever be able to step foot in the Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's true. I, I bet a lot of speakers say that. <laughs> but um, today's a special day for me, not only because I'm here with you guys, but it's my anniversary. Woo! Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Now, I would introduce my beautiful wife, but she's still parking the car. <laughs> So when she comes in, would you guys help me say anniver happy anniversary to her? Okay, just right? point her out. Point All right, I'm going to point her out. All right, cool. So I want to get started with you guys, and I have some questions for you. All right, first question is, how many of you would like to make more money? Cool. And I'm glad you guys are participating because I'm one of those folks, the more you participate with me, you never know when I might give you out something for free. All right? So you all want to make more money. I like that. How many of you would like to spend more time with family and friends. And I'm talking about the family that you like, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Now I got one more question for you. This is not a trick question. How many of you would like to make more money while you sleep? Uh, ooh, yeah. yeah, right, pretty cool. All right, so making more money while you sleep, spending time with family and friends, and obviously making money, that's passive income. That's what passive income guys. Are you guys familiar with passive income? Now, when I talk about passive income, I'm not talking about the IRS's version of what passive income is, okay? I'm talking about the definition Wikipedia gives, right? And that's passive income is an income received on a regular basis with little to no effort required to maintain it. Okay, you guys with me? So that's the version we're going off of. So passive income, I learned about passive income tons and tons of years ago. But in 2009, I read a book by T. Harv Ecker called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Does anybody ever read that book? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. There's a line that he says in that book that really kind of changed my life. Okay, and you guys want to write this down. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. So you want to write this down. He says you become financially free when your passive income exceeds your expenses. So you become financially free when your passive income exceeds, exceeds your expenses. Yes. Okay, awesome. So once he, I read that, I was like, oh my God, my life pretty much changed. And I want to describe you in real world what this means. So this is a picture of me, Joseph, he's my 13-year-old stepson, and Kathy, my wife. When you're talking about passive income and, and freedom from that, this is a real world example. This was us at Universal Studios. Now, <coughs> I'm an expert in passive income when it comes to ATMs. So to describe to you what I mean by you know, financial freedom and time freedom, we're at Universal Studios. Any Harry Potter fans? I'm not a Harry Potter fan, but <laughs> we were on the uh, Harry Potter ride in Universal, and I don't know if anybody's been on that ride, but it's, it's amazing, right? I don't like Harry Potter, but the ride is amazing. <laughs> so imagine this, right? You're on this ride, you're going through like uh, over castles and mountains, and you're, woo, you're screaming, you're having a great time on this ride in Florida, right? But while we're on this ride, on this family vacation, I know we're making money, because there are people in Pennsylvania Maryland and Delaware walking over to our ATM machines, taking out their debit cards, putting it in there, entering their PIN, and here's the key. They click yes to accept my surcharge fee. As soon as they say yes to my surcharge fee, cha-ching, cha I just got paid and I was in Florida with my family. Like that. Oh my God. That's passive income. You know what I'm saying? That's passive income. That's real world what I'm talking about. So now I'm going to teach you about passive income with ATMs. So who wants more passive income? Yeah. Would you like passive income with ATMs? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna teach you about that. And I'm not gonna give you any fluff, any BS, cause Mark here is making me cut my 60 to 90 minute presentation down to 20 minutes. <laughs> 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 so here we go, all right? <laughs> so I'm gonna create, I'll teach you how to create passive income with ATMs. So like I said, I'm an expert with ATMs. Been doing it since 2009. I first wanna talk about the opportunity. So you kind of can get a good grasp of the opportunity, okay? 2015, they're predicting 435,000 ATMs in the United States, okay? Now, see that number right there? I don't know why I did the number for you Harvard folks, but <laughs> I did the math for you. 27.9 million businesses at the end of 2010 in the United States. I'm one of those folks, you know, I'm no BS, no fluff, right? I like to be conservative with numbers. So I say, you know what, let's just cut those businesses in half. I don't know what I just hit there. <laughs> um, so 13,950,000 businesses. You do the math, the 435,000 ATMs, 13,950,000 businesses. What do you get? You guys, it's right in front of you. 
Only 3.12% of businesses have ATMs in them. How many of you have seen a business with an ATM in it? Yes? Yes. Right? Almost 97% of businesses don't have ATMs still. Does that sound like opportunity to anybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Anybody here ever used an ATM? Of course. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like paying those surcharge fees? Not when they're $5. Right. Not even when they're $2. I wouldn't like it. What's the average around here, guys? Surcharge fee? Like $3. Two to three. Two to three? Okay. How would you like every time somebody uses your ATM, you make that two to three bucks? That's very nice. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm going to show you how to do it, right? <coughs> so, but before I get into that, do you want to know what the income potential yeah. with ATMs is? All right. Here's one we have at a college dorm. It is not a big college dorm. It's very small. This one makes $372.50 a month. While you sleep. While you sleep. Not that exciting. It's 372 bucks. But can you use an extra 300 bucks? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here's another one. It's in a Chinese restaurant. $924.75 a month. That's starting to add up now. Right, right? Here's another one. It's in a kind of like a, I don't know, it's a restaurant kind of cafe type of thing. 650 bucks a month. Anybody want to guess what this is? That's a strip club. It's a gentleman's club. $1,148 a month while I sleep. Wow. One ATM. That's one, yeah, that's one ATM one month. Right? Now, if you just take, I'm not going to teach, I'm not going to tell you about every single ATM I own, but just these four, you add up those four, four ATMs, $3,095 a month, guys. Can anybody use an extra three grand? Yeah. What if you own eight of these? Twelve of these? Right. See, Matt, Mark is doing the math for us. All right, so that's the income potential for you guys. Now I'm going to talk to you about building your ATM business, how you can do this. All right? First thing is your team. Is it easier to do things by yourself or have somebody help you? Uh, have Teamwork. someone help you. Teamwork, right. Have somebody help you. So write this down. These are the people you want on your team and your ATM business. An attorney. <coughs> you need contracts with business owners. You can't just go in and place an ATM somewhere without having a contract. You have to, have to feel protected, right? So you need to get contracts from an attorney. You need an insurance person. I'll tell you firsthand why you need an insurance person. We had our first ATM robbed last month. So you need insurance. It's very affordable. There's no reason not to have it, OK? Then these are, this is the biggie. ATM supplier and ATM processor. And I kind of put them together because they can be kind of the same li liaison person, OK? Um, I do not recommend buying ATMs from eBay because a lot of times they're used and you don't know who you're buying from, OK? But you need to buy from a reputable, knowledgeable um, supplier, OK? And right now, remember what I asked you guys to help me with? Here's Kathy right there. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> and right next to her, you can say hi. That's my stepson, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. <laughs> um, so ATM supplier, ATM processor, OK? That's what you need. That's going to make everything, all the workings go. That's where you're going to get your ATM from. That's how they're going to do all the back end processing. So you get paid every time somebody uses your ATM, OK? <clears throat> now, finding a location. So you got your team together. Now you got to find some locations. Anybody have any ideas what kind of locations you can go to or how you can find a location? What do you think the best place to look for locations is right now? Um, don't know off the top of my head. Harvard Hat, rugby? Uh, high traffic areas. Yep, high traffic areas. What were you saying? People are spending money. Right, and, but here's the thing. To find locations, does anybody leave their house? Anybody in this room ever leave your house? I do. Yes, yes of course you do. You're here, right? So to find locations, start out with places you already go. Places you already go. Those are great spots for you, OK? Places that already have ATMs are actually great spots for you. And yeah, because they already know the value of an ATM. You just got to convince them to put your ATM in there. <laughs> and also, refer referrals. Does everybody in here know how to talk? Right? So I teach people, when you're in the ATM business, don't be keep it a secret. Tell everybody. Over 70% of our business right now comes from referrals. 70%. Is that good? Yeah. So tell people what you do. That's how you find locations. OK? Now, outsourcing. Who would like someone else to do some work for you? <laughs> I would. Right. Leverage, yeah. Exactly. If you want someone else to do the work for you, I'm going to tell you that the, the ATM business, you can do it on your own. But if you want somebody else to do the work, you can totally set it up that way. You can have someone fill your ATMs if you want to. 
you can pay them. I don't recommend an armored car service in the beginning. It's going to cut too much into your profits. But let's say you have a friend who's an ex-cop, ex-military. You can pay them to load your machine. Service your machine. These machines are workhorses. Okay? They, don't, they don't break down that much. But if they do, 15 minutes or less, you can fix it. If you don't want to fix it, you can pay a service company to fix it. Okay? Um, and then if you really, really, really want to take advantage of passive income, you can get partners and teach other people how to do it. You make half the profits and they do all the work. That's really passive income, right? That's like with no effort. <laughs> so that's different ways that you can outsource this business. Um, because after you find those locations and you have your attorney and you get the contract signed, now it's where the little bit of work. Remember I said passive income? It's an income received on a regular basis with little to no effort. So that's a little bit of work. You actually have to physically put money in these machines. Okay? So I want to talk to you a little bit. I got about nine minutes left. <coughs> I want to talk to you about the technical aspects of the business. Because you guys are probably wondering how much does an ATM cost? How much money do you put in it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so ATMs, how much do you think they cost? Brand new, not from eBay. Brand new. How much? A couple thousand, couple grand. How much? 10,000. About $2,000. $2,000, give or take a couple hundred bucks. And that's what a brand new machine will get you. 12 year, war 12 year, 12 month warranty. Okay? And this is, this is not like a Bitcoin machine. I know you guys have a new Bitcoin machine in Harvard Square. This is like your typical ATM where cash comes out of it. Okay? Two grand. <coughs> to actually put cash in that, physically go in there and put cash in it so people can take out. Anybody want to guess how long, and raise your hand, how long it takes to actually put cash in your ATM machine? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. No. Anybody else? To actually physically put cash in there? Two minutes. Two minutes. Good. Great question. Great, great guess. One minute and 10.8 seconds. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to give both of you something for being good sports here. My Spirit of Success book. Spirit of Success book. Thank you. So one minute and 10.8 seconds. Now when you start, it might take you five minutes. You're just figuring it out. But one minute, 10.8 seconds, you'll be in and out of there. Okay? That's the time commitment. You got 1.10 seconds? I believe so, yes. Yes. <laughs> like a week, maybe even a month, if it meant making an extra three grand. <laughs> you know, thousand bucks? Yeah. yeah. That's why I tell people anybody can be in the ATM business. I don't care if you work a full time job, I don't care if you work a full time job and go to college full time and have kids, and a wife, and a husband, you know, I don't care. You can find one minute and 10.8 seconds in your life. Right? I mean, it's one minute. All right, so that's the time commitment. Like, the most time you'll spend is actually driving to the locations. Okay, so just driving there. So, to spend the least amount of time in your business, you just want to plan properly when placing your ATMs. All right, you just want to kind of consolidate them so you could spend less time driving to them, because you know it's going to take Boom, one minute, 10.8 seconds to fill it, and then you're out of there, right? Drive to the next one, boom, one minute, 10.8 seconds to fill it, you're out of there. Then you go home and talk to people at Harvard or you know, go to Disney World, or whatever you want to do, okay? So now, does anybody want to guess how much money you actually have that physically have in your ATM? Five grand. Five grand, that's a great guess. Anybody else? Ten grand. Ten grand, anybody else? No, grand. Two grand. Yeah, it can, I teach people, see, <laughs> a lot of people that want to start making money with the ATM business, don't have a lot of money to start. So if you have money to start, awesome. If you don't, $1,000 to $2,000, $2,500, perfect inside your ATM. That's it. Now they can hold, um, if let's say we're talking about 20s, they can hold anywhere from $16,000 to $20,000. But a lot of folks don't have that cash on hand to just put in the ATM, right? So you literally can get started in the ATM business and put 1000 bucks in here. So he starts paying you surcharges, she starts paying you surcharges, he starts paying you surcharges to take money out. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And this is why you can do that. That money is recycled. Okay? So just to kind of give you an example of how this works, <coughs> let's say you have 100 bucks in your ATM, okay? You put 100 bucks, it was under your mattress, right? <laughs> Took it out from under your mattress, you put it in your ATM. Well, this person right here, forgot to get cash at the bank today, but they need money. They go to your ATM, put in their debit card, their PIN, accept your, PIN, accept your surcharge and all that. The ATM checks to make sure their bank has $100 
plus your surcharge fee. Once the ATM knows, it'll give him the $100, okay? Then what happens, this is the magic stuff that happens behind the scenes. You don't even know it's happening. But then what happens is within 24 business days, 24 hours, 24 hours within a business day, that $100 plus the surcharge, boom, goes back into your bank account. You guys with me? Mm -hmm. So 100 bucks was in here, takes it from here, puts it right back in your bank account. Now when you have that $100 back in your bank account, what do you think you should do with it? Put it back, Put in, it the back in the ATM. Put it back in the ATM. So this person can come and take it out, and this person can come and take it out. And that's the recycling process. That's why, hold on one second. That's why you literally can start with a thousand bucks in your ATM. Make sense? I need, I need one more drink of water here. You have a quick question? I got four minutes left. Does the bank charge a fee to deposit it into your It does not charge you any fee. Like, well, it shouldn't charge you any fee, right? Because there's all different, um, remember we talked about team, the t your team members? You can get all different team members. So if you have the right team members, shouldn't it cost you a penny? If you have the wrong team members, yeah, you'll probably pay. Does that make sense? Because, you know, there's like a tons of people that you can use, tons of companies that you could use, okay? Now, how many of you would like to learn more information about making money with ATMs? Seriously. Yeah. All right, cool. So because of Mark, and I think he's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I am offering you guys, I call them, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so, uh, talented here and creative, right? I'm calling them ATM sessions. <laughs> this is how creative I am, right? Yeah. But what do you think ATM stands for? Automatic teller machine. No, I mean in my ATM sessions. Come on, that was too obvious. All the money. Oh, I like that. It's an attracting the money session. <laughs> so um, these sessions are actually normally $97, but because Mark was so kind to let me come and speak all to you amazing folks, um, there's no charge for you. So I will talk to you for 45 to minutes to an hour to create a strategy for you guys to start an ATM business. ATM, attracting the money session. All you have to do, if you're ready to do that, can, can they sign up now or is there another yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All you would have to do is go see Kathy or myself. You're going to give her your name. You're going to give her your email address and your phone number. And that's it. And then we're going to get on, we're going to get on the phone and I'm, I'm going to help you come up with a strategy to add passive income from ATMs into your life. Is that cool? That's cool. All right. Awesome. Guys, you have any questions? I got, I got two minutes. Anybody have any questions? Does the person that owns the store have the ATM and do they like get any kind of fee or how does that work? They can. Um, I teach, I teach people in different ways. You can go in there and talk to them and uh, just convince them why they need an ATM. That's actually how I started. Um, or you can go in there from the beginning and say, hey, I'm going to pay you X amount. Let me put my ATM in here. Both ways work. You know, you just have to know what to say. Right. How many did you start out with and how many did you have now? The, ver <laughs> the very first time we started in the ATM business, we went in. Now, this is not uh, typical. How about that? That's my, like, disclaimer. This is not typical. Like, I tell you, start with one, right? And usually you'll, you'll talk to, like, so many businesses before the first one will say yes. But, um... The first two I spoke to said yes. So I was like, ah, oh crap, right? Because <laughs> I'm new, like I don't know what I'm doing. Like I'm, I'm new, right, it's 2009. Um, so they said yes, so I started with two, same day, you know, installed them. Uh, right now we're at 14, gonna get two more, about 16. Um, I have not worked since 2012, not had a J-O-B. ATMs are doing it, and the ATMs are actually uh, what allows me to, I'm gonna be honest with you. When you have ATMs and the money coming in from them, that's awesome, but you're not really going to get excited about ATMs. You know, it's not like, oh, my ATMs are so exciting. No, you're going to love the income that comes in, and that income that comes in is going to allow you to pursue your passion. And my passion is helping folks like you realize about passive income with ATMs. Does that make sense? So the money is going to come in, and then you're going to pursue your passion because this money is going to allow you to do that. Now, if, you're, if your passion is just making money from ATMs, are you going to do that too? Does that make sense? All right, guys. I'm pretty much done here. So if you want to sign up for an Attracting the Money session, you can go, go see Kathy or myself, and uh, we'll sign you up, and we can talk next week. All right? Awesome. Thank you, everybody.